Hi guys and welcome to Steelers Fan TV for which is um one of the first episodes of a look ahead. Um so the series is called A Look Ahead. So obviously every sort of Friday when it's released I'll be looking ahead to the weekend's games. I apologise for the audio in this video because I haven't got my microphone with me. It is just currently somewhere that I cannot find, frustratingly. And obviously, um the audio might be a bit bad, so bear with me for that. Now obviously Yesterday, the Steelers played. The Devils um, lost 3-2 in the end. Um, I think if it was 3-2 because obviously they scored after the buzzer had gone. Um, so 3-2 on the night. And it was frustrating, very frustrating. Um, obviously, it's come from two goals down to get it back to two all to then lose 3-2 and feel a bit sort of deflated with both the officiating and um, the fact we lost the game when we could have easily won it. Um, that's the worst bit about it, to say we were playing the first first position team in the league who look like they're going to win the league, and all respect to them for that. Um, and they look like they're going to go on and win uh, to the Belfast Giants, who sit in second, very far behind the Devils. So, this the Devils they did really well, they played a good road game, and they got the points. Obviously, we look ahead to the weekend, so we're playing Glasgow on Saturday. Um, Glasgow are a team that we have not actually... Um, really had much luck against and we've only I think we've only beaten them once away um, which was in overtime after being about four goals down um, and the last time we played Glasgow away I tweeted that that team was a very beatable side and I'll stick by what I said I believe they are and the fact they're coming to the arena on Saturday they're not a great side they're not a great side at all and we could potentially beat them quite easily. I mean, I've, I would hope that we just undress them because at the end of the day, some team that we're going to play is due on undressing so much because we really do need to let off some steam and whatever team it is that gets on the receiving end of a hammering from us, then, well, don't say I didn't warn you sort of thing. It's That's how I feel about that game. I feel that Obviously, I could put my predictions into these videos, so I will. Um, on Saturday, I'm going to say that the Steelers will beat Glasgow at home by four goals to two. Um, and that's for the reason that, one, we've not really had much luck against the clan this season. Um, two, the clan don't sit that many places above us in the league table. Um, we, They're beatable. They know they're beatable. Which is why I sort of, it sort of backfired on me when I said that they were a very beatable side, that they were. Um, obviously we lost the game and when it when it comes back to them being beatable, you then look at it like, oh god, we dropped points again, like we have numerous times this season. Which is So ultimately that's why I think the Steelers will go on and beat Glasgow uh, on Saturday 4-2. And if I was going to predict scorers, it would be Dowd to get a couple and... Possibly Zanowski and the last one. I'm just going to say that Brandon Whistle will get a goal. I don't know, but he's due a goal, isn't he? I don't think he's scored this season and he's started putting a shift in, so he, I think he really due a goal. Now, obviously, the clan come into it. They're on quite a sort of a. They've never really had much of a run going. They're sort of a bit of a mid-table side, they know they are, they sort of go into every year sort of a mid-table mid -table outfit. Obviously last year was a bit of a blip in their record books, but to come into the season and say, yeah, we're just going to be firm in mid-table, we might challenge for the playoffs, you know, we'll put the pressure on a little bit. And that's the sort of side that they are. And they're putting pressure on us this season by not letting us get into the playoff places. I mean, they're starting to streak ahead now, so, um, you know... It's a really, really two big games, really, Manchester Sunday as well. Two massive, massive games for the Steelers' season because obviously we want the playoffs. We don't want the off-season to start early and we don't want people laughing at us, basically. Because obviously if we don't make the playoffs, people will be laughing at us because with the Steelers, we're supposed to be the sort of one of the biggest sides in the division. And Sunday, I, I believe that we'll go on and lose in Manchester. Um, I think it'll be roughly... I'd say we'll get be in about 3-1, I think, to the Manchester Storm on Sunday. Obviously, it pains me a lot to say that, but I just can't see anything really coming from that game. And, obviously, that 
would be a disaster really in terms of our season because we need to get out of this sort of rut that we're in, which is a couple of points off the playoffs. And obviously to get out of that when you start winning games and Manchester are a decent side and they've proved that this season by beating us. So we can't really expect much. But what we can expect is hopefully to put a shift in and hopefully to, well, you'd hope to come out with a point from Manchester. But at the end of the day, we had a rough season and I couldn't, I, I can't personally see us getting anything out of it. And obviously the final thing I'm going to be saying about this video um, is about the officiating on Wednesday night. Because obviously there's been a lot, a lot of um, real backlash really towards the officials. And obviously that, I mean, you, you could, I bet you couldn't count how many times I've said obviously in this video. The Wednesday night officiating really got picked up on by a lot of people. By that I mean a lot of the Steelers off ice team, a lot of fans on Twitter, all the fans on Twitter saying, yeah, we well, watch the game, you know, absolutely awful. Like, and that I think it just sort of, he got to the point where, he, to be honest, I, I haven't faulted the officiating this season. I think it's been really good so far. But I think um, Wednesday just showed that it just sort of, can sometimes have its off days and I don't blame the result on the officials at all I blame the result on the last minute in last five minute goal that the Cardiff scored Cardiff won the game fair you know but it's just a bit inconsistent when it's sort of you don't know if they're going to call a penalty you don't know if they're not and oh you don't know if they are you don't know if they're going to put the brand up you don't know if they're not going to and obviously we scored the goal and the arm went up after the goal had gone in and everyone was just arms up in the air and there's one offside where the guy actually stands still and says, like, look, I'm not offside, I have stood still where I was. And it, it got to the point where it was just like, it was frustrating. But you can't fully blame the officials, you've just got to blame sort of what happened on the night, losing the last five minutes to a good side. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you in the Sunday vidcast. So, see you later.